How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love thy twings that I will purge these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do that there is love attempt, therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more prevalent in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I improve against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued wanting of thy love. By whose direction found thou out this place? By love, that first did prompt me to inquire. He lent me counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot, yet were thou as far as that vast shore washed with the furthest sea, I should adventure for such merchandise. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke but for a compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I'll take thy word. Yet. If thou swears, thou mayst prove false. At lovers' perjuries, they say, Jove laughs. O gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinkest I'm too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse and say thee nay, so thou wilt too, but else? Not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess, but that thou overheard ere I was where, my true love passion, and therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love which the dark night had to discover it. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow, that tips with silver all this fruit tree tops. I'll swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I will believe thee. My heart's dear love. Well, do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which does cease to be, and one can say it lightens. Sweet, good night. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next to meet. Good night, good night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For a purpose, love. But to be frank and give it thee again, and yet I wish, but for the thing I have, my bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. And now, my good nurse, sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. I will come again. Oh, bless, bless night. I am afeard, being in night, all this is but a dream. To flattering sweet, to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If the event of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage. Send me word tomorrow, by one that I procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the rite, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. I come anon, but if thou mayst not well, I do beseech thee. By and by I come, to seize thy suit and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So fright my soul. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst to one thy light. Love goes toward love as schoolboys from their books, but love from love towards school with heavy looks. Hist! Romeo! Hist! Oh, for a falconer's voice to lure this Cecil gentle back again. Bondage is hoarse and may not speak aloud, else where I tear the cave where echo lies, and make her every tongue more hoarse than mine with repetition of my Romeo's name. It is my soul that calls upon my name. How silver sweet sounds lover's tongues by night, like softest music to ten years. Romeo. My dear. At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. 
I will not fail. These twenty years till then, I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. This almost morning, I would have thee gone, and yet no further than a wanton's bird who lets it hop a little from her hand, like a poor prisoner in his twisted jives, and with a silk thread plucks it back again, so loving jealous of his liberty. I would if I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I, yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. When I will sleep and peace so sweet to rest, hence will I to my ghostly father's self.